Hello, thanks for watching this video on Urban Code Deploy. Today we'll be working with an application in our Urban Code Deploy uh, called Plants by WebSphere. As you can see here, we have configured a few different environments, the Dev, QA, and Production. This gives you the opportunity to expand and see what you have deployed to each environment. Um, as you can see here, they are different versions, perhaps. You also have the capability to actually do a compare uh, across the environments and see specifically what is at different versions in your dev, prod, or your QA. Here we have a different version of the ear, and we're going to be working with that today in our WebSphere deployments. Okay, so to deploy to an environment, we just choose the button and we're going to deploy the ear in the WebSphere configuration. We choose the version of what we wish to deploy for each component. Here we're going to choose to deploy the cluster and the ear file. I select my versions that I want to deploy and I click OK. We have the option to schedule the deployment if you want to set it at a certain time or date or to make it recurring. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and submit it and watch it run live. As it's running, you're able to actually drill down and see what's running in each step along the way as it executes. Here we see a process that's running. We can drill down and see what's happening under the covers um, in the process GUI that's available. Uh, this has already been configured and is what's currently running. I just wanted to show you a little bit about uh, what you can do in this GUI while we're waiting on the deployment to complete. If you look, for example, here's a Groovy script. You can see what the script is doing. Um, we have different plugins that are available in this particular instance. We've already um, have included the plugins for WAS so we can see that there are options to drag and drop WebSphere configuration capabilities. Um, if you have some scripting that you may already have that you want to uh, incorporate here, you can drag and drop that as well. Edit it using the pencil icon. You would go in and edit and include what you want to customize. And it's a very easy drag and drop with the arrows to add your step into the process here. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that. We don't want to save it. We're going to keep it as it was. Well, let's go back and watch how it's running now. As these steps are processing, we're able to go to each one, see the input output properties. You can open that, but here we're going to open the output log, see what happened, and see when it completed. And it's all logged for you there. We can see the script is still running here to deploy the air file. And they're just completed. So now the application has been started. I can go over and check in my application for Plants by WebSphere. And yes, I see it's currently running. Now that we have completed our deployment for the dev environment and we know that that completed successfully, and with the versions that have been tested together, create a snapshot for that. We can just name it uh, something like our May demo. And now when we go back and we're ready to deploy to our QA environment, rather than choosing a version, we're going to choose our snapshot that we just created. And we're going to go ahead and submit it right away. Now in the QA environment, we have configured an approval gate that's required that someone is going to manually approve this. So you can't necessarily go to an environment without uh, approval if that's something that you wish to implement. So you have the ability to implement these checks for promoting from one environment to the next and having a approval required. Then again, it goes ahead and starts the deployment process as we saw before. But now it's deploying into the QA environment. Uh, while we're looking at that, I'll just mention to you a little bit about how we got the plugins in place for the WAS 
environment that we saw earlier. When you go to the settings, you see plugins, you would just choose load plugin, browse, and update with the plugin you want. In this case, we have already included in this environment the WAS configure deploy and also WAS Liberty. But there are hundreds of other plugins that you could use with your open code tools as well.